Very good morning to all of you. Yes, students are joining. Let's continue. Okay, what we started in the last class? That is the component of the building, correct? Huh? So, building is basically divided into two types. What are the two types? That is superstructure, right? Superstructure. And superstructure. Superstructure. Okay. okay, with all your valuable feedback, I will start dictating your notes. Okay. Uh, Substructure. Have you taken this point? Have you written in your notebook? Okay. So, substructure you have written? Superstructure you have you written? Open your notes. I will dictate the notes. Okay. So, uh, points which are important for the examination point of view or multiple choice important to you. So, I will dictate. You can note down that one. Is it okay, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Have you taken this uh, substructure definition? Yes or no? Yes. yes sir. Ah. Or next, which point? Liya tha? Substructure, superstructure. Kahan tak liya tha apne? Apne notebooks mein? Maine dictate kahan tak liya tha? Nahi diya hai kya? Ye to hoye yes. Do me reply, respond. Okay, substructure, have you written? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Uh, superstructure? No, no? No? Hey, so, as for the feedback, as for the today's directions, I have to give them it. Okay, so I have to take the extra lesson. Have you taken uh, superstructure definition? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of you, have you taken superstructure definition? Have you written in your notebook or no? Notebook me likha hai kani definition? Nahi na. Okay. So the people who have not written read this definition. Superstructure is superstructure. Okay. I will dictate it. That point only read. It is a part of structure. It is a part of the structure. Part of the structure. Part of the structure. Above the ground level. Above the ground level. Which is a part of the structure. Above the ground level. Or, or ground floor level. Or ground floor level. Ground floor level. Next point. It includes. It includes. Are you rating all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. It includes walls, walls, columns. See column spelling. C O L U M N. Okay, C O L U M N S columns. Maximum people can write C O L O M column. I say write. Okay, don't write that. C O L U M N column or columns. C O L U L U M N S. Next, column beams, doors, windows, windows. Next, window sill. Window sill, comma, lintel, lintel, next, sedja, sedja, next, floors, floors, next, slab, slab. Next, ceiling, ceiling, next, roof, roof, next, parapet wall, parapet wall, comma, steps, 
और स्टेर केस स्टेप और स्टेर केस कोमा वॉल फिनिशेस वॉल फिनिशेस व्हाट इज दिस वॉल फिनिशेस मींस ये वॉल ब्रिक मशीन के कंस्ट्रक्शन होते हैं उसके ऊपर क्या करते हैं प्लास्टरिंग प्लास्टरिंग को क्या बोलते हैं वॉल फिनिशेस पेंटिंग विल कम अंडर वॉल फिनिशेस पेंटिंग एंड वॉल को टाइल्स में फिक्स करते हैं ना टाइल्स को दैट इज आल्सो कम अंडर वॉल फिनिशेस ओके ये वॉल फिनिशेस में क्या क्या रहते हैं प्लास्टरिंग रहते हैं टाइल फिक्सिंग रहते हैं पेंटिंग भी रहते हैं हैव यू रिटन ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स यस यस सर Yes, sir. You have you taken the examples for the substructure? ये लिखा है ना second point. It includes portion below. Have you written in your notebook? Okay. Yes. Okay. Important, ah. Huh? Okay. So this is your uh, full structure. Okay. What I will do? You just take the screenshot. The is the eighth picture. Okay. Just take it. Whenever you are in the free time. ओके ऐसे घूमते हैं टाइम पे ये जस्ट लुक एट दी स्क्रीनशॉट ओके सो ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन द इमेजिनेशन ओके एक बिल्डिंग कट हुआ कट किया तो कैसे देखते हैं ओके मैंने ऑलरेडी इसका पिक का एक्सप्लेन किया फिर भी आप क्या करिए एक स्क्रीनशॉट लेने सो व्हेन एवर यू आर इन द फ्री टाइम एट द टाइम यू जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस डायग्राम क्या आप देखते हैं क्या नहीं ठीक है फिर भी हां जो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है मैं दे रही हूं नहीं ऑलरेडी it is foundation definition for the foundation it is the lower most part of the building it is the lower most part of the building below the ground level below the ground level and it forms and it forms the base of the building and it forms the base of the building next point functions functions of the foundation kya hai iska function first point to transfer the total load to transfer the total load coming on coming on the building building to a larger area of soil to a larger area of soil see this is a column okay the column ka load kahan par aa rahe the entire superstructure ka load it is coming to the column column to where it will come it will come on the footing correct ah so footing kya karte it will take entire load you have studied udl correct ah udl matlab kya hai yes uniformly distributed load whatever load is coming here that is distributes to the entire area of the footing again this area to it will spread to the larger area this footing what it will do it will transfer the superstructure load to the soil beneath the footing okay. it will transfer the total load coming on the building to a larger area of soil next point to support the building what this foundation will do it will support the building next to provide level surface to provide level surface for concreting for concreting and masonry work 
and masonry work okay okay next write down this point materials this foundation is made up of plain concrete and rcc reinforced cement concrete <coughs> material for the foundation is pcc or rcc have you written yes sir okay next point second point is flint second one is flint all of you you have to remember this definition this definition is important huh? okay read on the definition it is the portion of the substructure it is the portion of the substructure between between the level of ground between the level of ground level of the ground and and ground floor and ground floor ground floor okay this is not necessary okay the filling between the ground floor level and ground floor level ko kya bolte plinth filling bolte next this is point is important okay what is the minimum height minimum height is equal to minimum height is equal to 45 cm and above 45 cm above the ground level minimum is 45 cm above the ground level 45 cm means it is dead feet then functions hum dikhe kya dikhe kya to transfer the load to transfer the load from building to foundation layer to transfer the load from this entire building to the foundation layer to transfer the load from the building to the foundation layer next point to provide safety against to provide safety against against ha uh, kiska rats rats flood on roads flood on roads next is aesthetic aesthetic it means to look beautiful that is building should look nicely that is purpose plinth is provided okay but main function is this second point and first one have you written yes sir okay next one dpc third point dpc damp proof course damp proof course it is the horizontal barrier it is the horizontal barrier provided provided in between in between ha ah, kahan par provide karte dpc in between substructure and superstructure in between substructure and superstructure in between substructure and superstructure to resist to resist moisture rising to resist moisture rising through rising through the structure through the structure by 
by capillary action by capillary action to do you know capillary action pata hai kya nahi see malum hai ha kon kya bol ha capillary matlab whenever a small uh, pipe is inserted in the water water will rise no that is nothing but capillary action matlab idhar dekho ये जो सॉइल पार्टिकल है ग्राउंड के बीच में क्या है दिस इज हैविंग सॉइल पार्टिकल राइट हां व्हेनएवर दिस सॉइल इज अब्सॉर्ब्ड बाय द वाटर वाटर दिस इज बिकम मॉइस्चर रहता है सो दैट मॉइस्चर विल राइज बिकॉज़ ऑफ स्मॉल पार्टिकल वाइड गैप दिस वाटर विल राइज ओके दिस वाटर शुड नॉट एंटर इनटू योर बिल्डिंग फॉर दैट पर्पस डीपीसी इज प्रोवाइडेड दिस डीपीसी इज मेड अप ऑफ मेड अप ऑफ कंक्रीट ओके okay function is stopping the dampness function function stopping the dampness in the building in the building next materials material bitumen bitumen comma plastic sheet plastic sheet comma metal sheet metal sheet comma cement concrete cement concrete etc yes i want to check your notebook who all are writing or not okay so i will call one by one roll number 4 prajakta are you writing are you writing or no yes, yes sir okay Turn on your video and show your notebook. Video open करके uh, show me your notebook. Yes. हाँ. Huh. Yes. Video 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 on करिए. Turn on your. दिखाऊँ मुझे. I want to check. Yes, project. Nair, you are not writing. Hmm? Then I will ask one more person. Roll number sixteen, Dheeraj. Are you writing notes? Roll number sixteen, fifteen, Akash, Chawan. Unmute and tell me. आकाश धीरज फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन यस वॉलंटरली हु इज राइटिंग यू हैव टू अनम्यूट एंड टेल मी यस सर ओके यस सर राइटिंग राइटिंग हु इज राइटिंग रोल नंबर फाइव फाइव ओके नेक्स्ट वन पर्सन इज टेलिंग शी इज राइटिंग नेक्स्ट आई आई राइट रोल नंबर नेक्स्ट राइट ओके सुपर स्ट्रक्चर नेक्स्ट साइड रीडिंग इज सुपर स्ट्रक्चर कंपोनेंट्स सुपर स्ट्रक्चर कंपोनेंट्स आर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ सुपर स्ट्रक्चर फर्स्ट वन फर्स्ट वन इज वॉल 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 इज अ स्ट्रक्चर वॉल इज अ स्ट्रक्चर that defines that defines 
an area an area carries carries a load carries a load comma provides provides security and shelter security and shelter then types of walls two types of walls first one load bearing walls second one non load bearing walls load bearing walls and non load bearing walls this is also called as huh, framed structure framed structures completed yes sir okay okay so we go next load bearing walls load bearing walls these carry these carry structural load structural load and transfer it and transfer it and transfer it to the floor to the floor to foundation to the floor to the foundation these are commonly used in these are commonly used in single and double story building single and double story building okay just you can just remember this point it uh, function is kya karte it divides the space to make it into functional and useful to transfer the load of the floors to the foundation to provide privacy security and protection against weathering action just remember this point next non load bearing walls next is non load bearing walls non load bearing walls these are also called as partition wall these are also called as partition wall they carry they carry their self load self load matlab iska self weight only okay self load next one these are built these are built in various materials these are built in various materials like wood wood plywood plywood glass glass metals metals bricks etc functions you can write functions kahan par use karte load bearing non load bearing walls frame structure mein these walls are largely employed means used okay these walls are largely used in framed structures in framed structures framed structure next one they provide they provide privacy privacy from vision privacy from vision and afford and afford protection protection against heat against heat cold sun sun and rain okay 
your partition wall will resist or it will provide the privacy from vision and afford the protection against the heat cold sun and rain these are the functions of non load bearing wall next second one is column column these are structural vertical members these are structural vertical members of the building of the building next point constructed in various sizes constructed in various sizes and shapes sizes and shapes in bracket square rectangle and circular square rectangle and circular what is the function of the column what it will do it will transfer the load from the slab beams to the footy foundation first one first one is to provide lateral stability to wall to provide lateral stability to the wall next to provide support to provide support to beams slabs to provide support to the beams slabs and transfer and transfer loads to the foundation and transfer loads to the foundation loads to the foundation is it okay yes sir okay next door next the third one is door these are movable panels these are movable panels constructed in the openings constructed in the openings through the wall through the wall next function of the door functions horizontal movement horizontal movement from one room to another room from one room to another room next point ventilation ventilation privacy and protection ventilation privacy and protection door is made up of wood materials are wood plastic metal and glass and types of doors types of doors collapsible door collapsible door swinging door swinging door Re revolving door revolving door then folding door folding door etc have you written yes sir can i go for next slide yes sir wait oh. sir wait sir wait wait karne ka okay you have seen the diagrams next <coughs> door isko kya kaun sa door bolte isko this is collapsible okay this is collapsible so this is this is swing swing hote hain okay this is rotation okay panel door bolte hain so this is rotation then one more rehte dekho revolving a shutters aapka rolling shutter rehta na 
तो ऐसे ओपन किया तो क्या होता है उस ऊपर वो रोल होते हैं रोलिंग डोर ठीक है डन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज विंडो ओके रेड ऑन विंडो सो विंडो को स्टॉप करेंगे नेक्स्ट जो पॉइंट है मैंने एक्सप्लेन कर दे बाद में नेक्स्ट क्लास में उसको इधर से लिखेंगे रेड ऑन दिस लास्ट पॉइंट विंडोज और ओपनिंग्स बिल्ट इन ओपनिंग्स बिल्ट इन वॉल बिल्ट इन वॉल टू स्टॉप इट शुड बी बिल्ट इट शुड बी बिल्ट कंसिडरिंग द विंड डायरेक्शन कंसिडरिंग द विंड डायरेक्शन इट शुड बी बिल्ट कंसिडरिंग द विंड डायरेक्शन and exterior view and exterior view then function of the window function of the window provide provide light air air ventilation ventilation privacy privacy or security security then materials windows are made up of wood material plastic steel glass wood plastic steel glass then What are the types of window? Paneled window, paneled window, glazed window, glazed window. Paneled and glazed में कैसे भी different रहते हैं. So see, ऐसे ऐसे तो this is called as paneled window. Okay, glazed window कैसे रहते हैं? so the same window is taken and partly here glazing it means whatever here it is there it is made up of another material either kya rehte this is filled and this side is also filled this side opening it is glass glazing mein this upar ka kya rehta hai there this is made up of glass material this is also glass material here it is wooden material half portion is covered and half portion is opened that is called as glazed material uh, window okay so types of window you have seen next i will uh, dictate this point in the afterwards that is fifth sixth then whether uh, sajja 7 8 9 10 11 12 14 parts okay this remaining 14 parts i will dictate just i want to explain some more point i will explain that yesterday i have explained this correct na load bearing wall structures yes we have seen okay up to window okay so next is window sill uh, lintel with the chajja floor beam slab roof parapet steps okay there is 10 points are there you can uh, okay i'll let me i will dictate later have i explained this frame structures in the last yes time? yes sir yes load bearing and non load bearing frame structure i have explained then <laughs> ओके ए डिफरेंस भी हुआ था ना लास्ट क्लास यस सर यस सर व्हाट इज एलबीएस यस लोड बेरिंग स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट इज एफएस फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर ओके यस यस दिस वन वी हैव स्टॉप्ड करेक्ट ना ओके आई विल एक्सप्लेन सम मोर पॉइंट्स हियर ओके हियर व्हाट इज कंपोजिट स्ट्रक्चर व्हेन द सुपर स्ट्रक्चर कंसिस्ट ऑफ लोड बेरिंग एज वेल एज द फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर व्हेन super structure now you have seen up to now you have seen purely load bearing structure okay means the slab ka load kahan par aata hai this is comes on the wall correct ha wall is it correct all of you correct yes sir no in load bearing structure the load of this slab is transferred to wall is it correct or no yes online people at least one response from the students 
इज इट ऑडिबल सीमा सुप्रिया ऑडिबल है ना यस हाँ तो इन लोड ब्रिंग स्ट्रक्चर में इस स्लैब को लोड कहाँ पर आते वाल के ऊपर करेक्ट ना देन फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर का स्लैब का लोड कहाँ पर आते हाँ इट विल कम ऑन दी बीम्स बीम्स ओके बीम्स नेक्स्ट बीम तो कॉलम देन कॉलम तो कॉलम तो हाँ कॉलम तो डेट इज फाउंडेशन 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 ओके कॉलम तो फाउंडेशन नेक्स्ट फाउंडेशन तो फाउंडेशन तो कहाँ जाते हैं सोइल ओके सोइल तो डे सब सोइल ओके सोइल ओके सो दिस इज़ द पार्ट यू शुड रिमेम्बर देन देर आर सम स्ट्रक्चर्स व्हिच आर मेड अप ऑफ वो द सुपर स्ट्रक्चर इज़ कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ लोड बेरिंग एस वेल एस फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर देन सच अ टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर इज़ नोन एस कंपोजिट स्ट्रक्चर इट मींस देर आर कॉलम्स ओके बट देर विल बी बीम्स एंड देर विल बी लोड बेरिंग वॉल्स मींस सम पोर्शन ऑफ द सुपर स्ट्रक्चर का लोड इज़ कैरीड बाय द वॉल्स एंड सम पोर्शन इज़ कैरीड बाय द बीम्स एंड कॉलम्स सो इट इज़ कंपोजिट इट इज़ मिक्सचर ऑफ बोथ दैट्स व्हाई इट इज़ कॉल्ड एस कंपोजिट स्ट्रक्चर इन सच अ केसेस आउटर वॉल्स मे फॉर्म बाय लोड बेरिंग वॉल्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड इनर सपोर्ट्स और कॉलम्स मे बी फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर यस दिस इज़ वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके इन द आरसीसी फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर इन द आरसीसी फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर आउटर वॉल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ लोड बेरिंग और नॉन लोड बेरिंग आउटर वॉल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ लोड बेरिंग एंड इनर वॉल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ इनर वॉल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ दिस इज इनर वॉल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ हाँ इट इज कॉलम्स ओके सो हियर देर विल बी कॉलम्स हियर देर इज कॉलम If there is a one more beam here, here अभी इधर एक beam है तो इधर एक okay column करते हैं इधर एक beam है तो तो inside क्या होता है इधर एक column करते हैं okay outside outside क्या होता है देखो the load load from the this slab is transferred to this side the load from the center so come to come onto the beam the load from this one come onto the beam the load from this slab to the wall from this beam to it will go onto the column and from this beam to the it will go on to the wall okay so this is how the load is transferred in the composite structure in such a cases outer walls yes it is very important the multiple structure in a composite structure outer walls are is it load bearing or framed it is load bearing and inside walls are that is non load bearing non load bearing okay inside walls are non load bearing The inside load uh, is transferred to the beam side columns. Such structures are adopted where multi-story construction is not required. Okay, this composite structure is used where multi-story is not required. Out larger spans are required. So, if the larger span is required, okay, if larger span is required, span मतलब क्या? Length. If the length of the beam is very large. Okay, in that case, inside there is a column, and outside there is a the beam is rested on the slab. See, here this beam is resting on the column. Correct. If this is inside, hai. this wall is outside. Hai. The beam is resting on wall. Okay, I see. I don't know whether there is a column or the wall. Okay, but I see it. Right okay, so then there is a very large span. Example: workshop and warehouses. वेरोस मतलब क्या गोडा ना ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड वेरोस उधर कैसे रहते हैं वर्कशॉप में वगैरह द स्पैन इज वेरी लार्ज ओके इन दैट केस एंड द सपोर्ट इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द वॉल ओके एंड इनसाइड इज देयर इज अ कॉलम इज प्रोवाइडेड दैट इज कॉल्ड अ कंपोजिट स्ट्रक्चर इज इट क्लियर एवरीवन यस ऑल ऑफ यू यस यस सर हां सी द कंपोजिट स्ट्रक्चर हाउ इट इज So here, what is there? This is called a slab. Okay, RCC. Here it is slab. Here it is a beam. So slab ko load beam ke upar aate. Beam is transferred to the inside column. Inside there is a column. So outside what is there? So outside what? There is a brick wall. This is load bearing wall, and this is column. See how the shape. Whenever the column is, the column. This is a column. Okay. This is also column. 
इफ द कॉलम हैचिंग में अभी हाँ इज इट विजिबल वॉट एवर आई एम ड्रॉइंग मतलब रेक्टेंगुलर शेप में ऐसे अंदर हैचिंग किया तो दैट इज कॉल्ड एस वॉल ओके इफ इट इज हैच लाइक दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड एस कॉन्क्रीट इधर देखो दिस इज कॉल्ड एस वॉल दिस इज कॉल्ड एस आरसीसी कॉलम इज इट क्लियर एंड इफ देर इज ए बुल्डर्स बुल्डर्स मीन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड एम एम साइज स्टोन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड एम एम साइज स्टोन आप कॉन्क्रीट में खड़ी है ना खड़ी का साइज कितना रहता है टेन टू ट्वेंटी एम एम रहता तो सपोज Uh, there is a larger size aggregate also that is called as 40 mm bullet 50 to 100 mm also what do we call it boulders bullet so some boulders are filled here inside up under ghar ke andar flooring ke andar wo boulders fill karte that is called as rubble filling bhi bolte usko or boulder filling bhi bolte usko these all are the technical words you might have seen all these structures components but aapko pata nahi rehta what is that actually okay Technically, we are calling it is flooring, wall, column, hmm? but me uh, stones, pillar, and all. Then, so next point, we are coming on to the foundations. Okay, so we have studied from the substructure to the superstructure, all the points. But again, we are deeply studying on the foundation. How the foundation is provided? What are the different types of foundations? So basically, the in the foundations there are two types. Okay, just look at this one, this point I will explain. Now you have to tell me what is this? What is this? And what is this? So this is column, correct? Ah, this is entire. It is called as it is column. This is column, and it is foundation footing. This is. Foundation. I am writing column. This is column. This is foundation. Column load is transferred to the foundation. So in between this one, there is a ground level. Correct. All of you. Always ground level is denoted like this. Ground level is denoted like this. Okay. Whenever there is no, he is not mentioning any means. It you it is understood that this is ground level. Okay. See the depth of the foundation. The depth of the foundation. This is the D. Okay, from the ground level to till your foundation bed. This is called as depth of the foundation. Then the width of the foundation. Width of the foundation is this is width. This is the width. Then this is the depth. Okay, are you getting these two definitions? This is width. Width is called as B. And depth is called as D. So now in this example, me बोलिए whether B is greater or D is greater. B is greater. Breadth is greater. It means depth is small, smaller है क्या larger? All of you. Depth is smaller or larger compared as compared to the breadth? Smaller. 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 If if at all, if at all, depth is smaller than or equal to breadth, then such a foundation is called as Shallow foundations. If at all, if at all, depth of the foundation (DF) is greater than breadth of the foundation, then that is called as deep foundation. When, how many are there? Na, sabi ko. What is shallow foundation? What is deep foundation? This condition is important for your exam point of view. Okay, in the multiple choice point of view, when depth is smaller or equal to width, then that type of foundation is called as Shallow foundation. When depth is larger than the breadth, then that is called as deep foundation. Okay. See in this in this diagram only I will draw. Here only what I will do? I will change. I will change the ground level. Now you have to tell me. Okay, you have to tell me. 
Now, in this case, depth is more or width is more? Depth is more, correct? Huh? So, here, B is, uh, depth, D is very, very larger than the breadth. So, which type of foundation is? It is D foundation. D foundation. Okay. Then, again, there is a classification in the shallow foundation. So, in the foundation, basically, there are two types. One is D foundation and one more is shallow foundation. In the shallow foundation, there are types. One is isolated footing or it is called a column footing. See, this is column. Okay. This column is rest, resting on, on foundation. This is called as single footing. Okay. Is there a column called kitna footing? AK hai na? So that is called it is called a single footing. Single footing. When you come into the second one, okay, second one. How many footings are there? Two footings. So one is larger, then there is a step. Correct? Huh? So this is second one. So this inside one, what is this? This is a section. When you are looking at from the top view, this is the column. This is the column. This is entire is foundation. Then this, whatever I am hatching, what is this? This is the column. Then what is this portion? Ah, this is, this is foundation. Is this the first footing or second footing? Second footing. This one is? First one. This is the first one. Either Ketna hai? This is only one footing. Okay. This outer one is first one. Here is second one. See, in the third one. So, whatever you have taken, what this hatched portion. What is this one? What is this one? This is column. Okay. Then, what is this outer one? This is the outer dimension of the footing. But here, kya hai? Either see, either kya hai? That is sloped. Either see, either this is sloping kya hai. Okay. Sloping. That's why it's called as sloped footing. When load on the column is less at that point, we can call it is spread footing. And it is given under the column only. Again, there are in the column, there are types. One is single footing, one is stepped footing, one is sloped footing. Is it clear, everyone? Either image uh, figure me dekhe, figure me. So the, see here, there is a column. Hai. So is column ko kya hai either? Foundation hai? So is it a single or uh, stepped or isolated, uh, sloped? It is called as single or it is also called as isolated. Isolated means it is only made up of only one. Okay. Then, either kitna hai? this is also made up of single, it is also isolated. Sometimes, kaise okay. rehta? Isko upar aurek rehta. Okay? Isko upar aurek rehta. That will be step of footing. Sometimes, what it will do? After first footing, there will be sloped like this. Okay? There will be sloping is done. That is called as slope footing. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes. Then, so single footing, step of footing, slope of footing, we have seen for the columns. So if there is a load bearing wall, load bearing wall, the wall is carrying loads, correct? Huh? At that time, we have to provide the footing for the wall also, no? See, in this case, in this case, this is wall. A wall me column hai kya? Nahin. So nahin to, this is which type of wall? This is load bearing wall, LBS. Okay. So what is this one? What is this one? This is coping. Coping bolte. Or, or your door ke upar kya rata? Lintel. Lintel. Window ke upar to, that is sill level. Sill. Door ke upar to, lintel level rata. Okay. So, wall ka load will come and this is the DPCB bol sakte or it is foundation. Wall ka foundation bhi. Okay. See. The foundation in which or is provided throughout the length of the continuous structure is called as strip footing. What is strip footing? This is what? This is the wall. A wall continuous, hai na? continuous. Hai? This co foundation there. Hai so that is called as strip footing, or it is also called as wall footing. Wall footing or strip footing. Okay. Now you can easily bifurcate. What is your isolated footing? Isolated footing is provided for the single column. Correct? Right, then strip footing is provided for the wall, continuous wall. Okay. Then combined footing. If the load is very high, isolated footing is provided when load is small. Okay. So think that there is a one footing. This is one footing and 
एडजस्टमेंट बाय देयर इज वन मोर फुटिंग द इसका लोड ज्यादा है ओके ये कॉलम का ये कॉलम का भी ज्यादा है सो इन दैट केस यू आर कंबाइनिंग दीस टू फुटिंग यू आर कंबाइनिंग दीस टू फुटिंग दैट इज दैट टाइप ऑफ फुटिंग इज कॉल्ड एज कंबाइंड फुटिंग ओके सो कंबाइंड फुटिंग मतलब क्या है दिस इज when the foundation or the footing is constructed for two or more columns is called as combined footing isme dekho ye problem hai how many columns are there two columns so the footing is co common for the both columns then it is called as combined footing two individual footings are overlapped when load bearing capacity is less yes suppose ek ek column hai एक कॉलम का कितना है दिस इज द फाउंडेशन ओके और एक इधर कॉलम है ओके okay. इसका एक, एक, एक कैसे हो गया इधर हो गया दोनों और हो गए ना सो so, इसके लिए सो वी आर नॉट सपोज टू प्रोवाइड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फाउंडेशन वी हैव टू टेक एंड वी हैव टू गो फॉर द गो फॉर द वन कंबाइंड फुटिंग दोनों के एक ही फुटिंग प्रोवाइड करने का सो नो वट एवर आई है दिस इज कॉल्ड एज वट इट इज इट इज कंबाइंड कंबाइंड फुटिंग ओके कंबाइंड फुटिंग इज प्रोवाइडेड व्हेन लोड्स फ्रॉम द कॉलम इज वेरी लार्ज एंड कॉलम्स आर प्लेस्ड नियर बाय नियर एंड द सोइल इज वीक व्हेन बेयरिंग कैपेसिटी इज लेस किसका बेयरिंग कैपेसिटी सोइल ओके इसके बीच में क्या है इधर सोइल है ना ये सोइल कैपेसिटी सोइल का बेयरिंग कैपेसिटी कम है तो वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग कंबाइंड फुटिंग इन दिस कंबाइंड फुटिंग देयर आर टू टाइप्स वन इज one is which type of it is it is trapezoidal this is rectangular footing one more is trapezoidal footing so rectangular footing mein the plan is looking like a rectangle shape in the trapezoidal shape in the trapezoidal footing mein the plan is looking like a uh, trapezoidal shape see the shape of the footing is it in tra trapezoidal shape also correct huh? so here it is it is rectangular shape it is rectangular shape okay that's why it is called as rectangular and it is called as trapezoidal again in the multiple choice question he will ask what are the types of combined footing one is trapezoidal second one is uh, rectangle third one is the uh, uh, triangular fourth one is the none what is answer rectangle and trapezoidal both are answer okay is it understood everyone yes sir okay see in the figure In the image, this is one column here. Either, either a column. Hai. If both of which may a footing in a lay, he has given footing. This footing is common for both column, correct? Which type of footing it is? Is it rectangular or is it trapezoidal? Rectangular. Yeah, it is rectangular. Rectangular. Sometimes, how is it provided? This is one, and he is he will draw like this. Okay, he will draw and he will draw. This is which type of foundation? It is trapezoidal. Okay. तो इधर एक कॉलम है इधर एक कॉलम है दैट इज कॉल्ड ट्रेपिजोडल देन वन मोर इज कंटिन्यूस फुटिंग अभी देखो नो ऑल ऑफ यू टेल मी सिंगल कॉलम है तो व्हाट इट इज कॉल्ड एज आइसोलेटेड फुटिंग और सिंगल फुटिंग और स्टेप्ड फुटिंग और इट इज स्लोपिंग फुटिंग इफ इट इज वॉल कंटिन्यूस है तो इसको क्या बोलते हैं स्ट्रिप फुटिंग और वॉल फुटिंग इज इट करेक्ट ऑल ऑफ यू यस यस If there are two columns, if there are two columns, the footing is provided com combined effect. Then that is called as combined footing. In the combined, there will be rectangular footing, there will be trapezoidal footing. If there are more than three, more than four, okay, I see continuous columns. Hai. Oh, sabhi ko ek ek footing provide kar diya. In that case, it is called as it is called as continuous footing. It is called as continuous footing. A single footing, continuous reinforced concrete slab, is provided as the foundation for three or more than three columns. Okay, in a row, continuous, in a row, continuous footing is more suitable to prevent the differential settlement in the structure and safety against earthquake. See, I will draw the, this in a diagram. This is the continuous footing diagram. This is the continuous footing. So this footing is having, this footing is having. There will be multiple number of columns. Is it visible? Columns. These are columns. 
कितने कॉलम से चार कॉलम से ओके वेन द सॉइल इज वीक देर इज ए डिफरेंशियल देर इज सेटलमेंट हो सकते इन ऑर्डर टू अवॉइड द सेटलमेंट वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग द कंटिन्यूस पुटिंग ठीक है हियर इधर एक कॉलम टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन इधर से इधर तक है ओके सो सभी को एक क्या किया इन्होंने एक स्लैब प्रोवाइड कर दिया दिस इज कॉल्ड एज कंटिन्यूस फुटिंग इज इट क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू यस ओके देन व्हाट इज द टाइम चलिए टू मोर मिनट से यार नेक्स्ट वन इज ट्रफ और मैट फाउंडेशन ओके सो आई विल ड्रॉ द डायग्राम फर्स्ट थिंक दैट देयर इज अ प्लॉट आपका घर का प्लॉट है ये ओके इसमें देयर आर कॉलम्स ओके दिस इज वन कॉलम देयर इज दिस वन कॉलम दिस इज वन मोर कॉलम this is column this is column this is column okay this is column this is column okay think that these many columns are there so individual footing provide kiya to it is not economical okay iske liye maine kya karte i will take one column of uh, footing and i will provide for all all it is combined for all the columns one foundation is laid that is combined for all such a footing is called as it is called as mat or raft foundation raft foundation or mat foundation a raft foundation is combined footing which covers the entire area beneath the structure and supports all the walls and columns iske beech mein wall hai na isme correct wall hai correct so your footing is providing footing is provided for the both columns and walls and it is combined for all the walls and columns such a footing is called as this is raft this is called as raft footing or it is mat footing see the diagram the entire site is excavated okay and they, what he has done he has done machine reinforcement and opus he has done columns okay and he will do concrete in all is it clear all of you yes all of you is it clear yes sir yes when it is suitable when i have to provide this raft foundation the building load is very heavy building ka load bahut aa rahe okay at that time then the load of allowable soil pressure is small the soil is having sbc stake bearing capacity of the soil is very less i to we have to provide mat footing individual footings would require more than half of the building area okay ek column ko maine footing provide karne ka itna bada footing hai in that case it is getting more than half of the area so in that case we have to go for the raft foundation in highly compressible soil it means whatever soil is there when the water is added to the soil that will get compressed okay your black cotton soil black color material right? so whenever you put a water that will get compressed so that is any very less compressive strength in that case we have to go for the raft foundation then weak spot and loose pocket in the soil mass are suspected whenever the soil is having a weak spot okay and loose soil in that case we have to go for the raft foundation is it clear everyone all of you is it clear yes sir okay these are the important points in the raft foundation okay greenish color foundation we will take this in the next class Okay, we'll stop now. We'll continue in the next class. Attendance very quickly. I will take the attendance. Yes, one, two, three. Roll number three. Four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Roll number three. Three is present. Okay. Twelve, twelve, twenty present, twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty-three, twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, th
ओके ऑप्शन नंबर ट्वेल्व फोर्टी फोर फोर्टी एट फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन फिफ्टी नाइन ओके ओके स्टॉप नाउ विल कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू ऑल